Hello everybody, it's Mama G here and I am very excited to be helping to get you into the mood for Elmer Day 2021. But before I do, don't forget that you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. You just need to search for at Mama G Stories. And if you are needing any inspiration for this year's Elmer Day, then why not visit elmerday.co.uk where they have lots of wonderful ideas to help you celebrate your true colours. And of course, you can follow Elmer the Patchwork Elephant across all the socials. Now, the book I am sharing with you today is a really special Elmer book. It is the latest in the vast collection of stories by David McKee and it is called Elmer and the Lost Treasure. That's why I'm wearing my most treasurific gown for you all today. Let's get going, shall we? It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time, story time with Mama G. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was with his cousin Wilbur and three other elephants. Good morning, called Tiger. Where are you going so bright and early? On a long exploring walk, said Elmer. Well. I'm having a long, exploring dream, said Lion. After they'd been walking for quite some time, the explorers found themselves in a part of the jungle that none of them knew. The undergrowth became darker and thicker. They took it in turns to push their way through. Elmer was leading, when with a loud ooh, he disappeared. The others stopped and stared. Elmer, they called, are you all right? Elmer's voice came back, I'm fine, come on down, be careful, it's a steep slope. So, slipping and sliding, rocking and rolling, ooing and ahhing, giggling and gasping, the others joined Elmer. Once they'd recovered, Elmer said, Now, come and see this. He led them through a curtain of plants. Look, he said. And there was the entrance to a kind of palace. Wow! said the elephants. What are we waiting for? said Wilbur. Let's take a look. He and Elmer went through the door. An elephant held the others back and said, The famous lost treasure of the jungle must be hidden here. Don't tell Elmer. We'll find it and surprise him. Elmer and Wilbur were admiring a large hall when the others scuttled past in the side corridors. What are they playing at? said Elmer. Probably hide and seek, said Wilbur. A little later, Elmer and Wilbur were surprised to see the elephants standing one on the other. The top one was searching the head of a wooden sculpture. Uh, we thought we saw something, one explained. Fascinating, said Elmer. Soon after that, the cousins were admiring some mosaics and wall paintings when the others sneaked past on tiptoe. Stranger and stranger, said Elmer. And stranger, added Wilbur. 
The next time the other elephants were seen, they were standing in a dry fountain. What are you looking for? asked Elmer. Oh, said the elephants in surprise. No, oh, we were wondering if the fountain still worked. There's a lever here, said Elmer as he pulled it. Shower time! Wilbur chuckled. I think we should be heading home, he said. You're right, said Elmer. Time to go, they called to the others. On the way home, an elephant said, That was a fun day. Pity we didn't find the lost treasure. Elmer and Wilbur stared. We thought you knew. The whole place was the lost treasure. The end. Oh, isn't that an absolutely fabulous book? Elmer and the Lost Treasure by David McKee, published by Anderson Press. Have an absolutely fantastic Elmer Day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!